Hello everybody and welcome to my match day 10 game with Jameen Rick. J is it Jameen Rick? Um, he is top of the division with his Lizardman team, which is very good. And has, you know, three guard, a pom guy, a couple of break tackle, a couple of stand firm. Very good team. Of course, my team is bloaty, but can be very good. And uh, yes, first place, second, top of the table clash to see who will be in pole position for the rest of the season. Um, I think he's only lost to Skytown, I believe. That's his, his one loss. I have lost uh, the two games that I've been brutally outbashed. <laughs> um, so, you know, and this could, this, uh, this could be the case here. So... Yeah, BLGF. I, I really like BLGF, but I don't know. In this world of snowflakes, it seems like not a good thing to say. But yeah, division. That's the thing. The killer about this is there's three, there's three teams really. I mean, I know I watched Crystal Hunter's recap of it, where or, or pre-cap, whatever, mid-season, late-season report of the division, and they said there was like four or five teams. But really, there's only two slots, right? There's only two slots for the playoffs. So if there were three slots for the playoffs. It probably would be a four or five man race, but with there only being two slots for the playoffs, I think it's basically a three horse race with only two spots, which is uh, which is a bit sucky, isn't it, for for us in the race, um, TBH. So I'm gonna have to, what three? It was really disappointing to lose the toss. Would been good if I'd won the toss, wouldn't it? Could have uh, could have diced the hell out of him. <laughs> But now he's going to get hit with Mighty Blow and Palm. And uh, obviously I've got to have the three tacklers on the pitch, haven't I? Guard are there. Guards are the most uh, most blitzable guys. So yeah, that's, that's it. Thanks, Jellio, for telling me. Yeah, very sunny. I always forget that. Sandwich kiosk. That's mine. That's mine to stop... Get the refs, so people can foul me. Can't foul me as much as they can people who don't have a skig sandwich seat chaos, so it leads to less less attrition, doesn't it? And throw a rock obviously leads to less attrition. So I got the I got the double attrition reduction stadium there. Clever, clever me. Yeah, that's the thing. It's it's it really is three three pe the the top three are really close to each other too. And, uh, and like the top three are really close together, and there's only two slots. So like, while technically, yeah, fourth or fifth could, I think fourth or fifth would really be a threat if there was three going through. But I think with there only being two, I think it's, you know, I'm I'm really worried about my chances of getting in, and I'm in second. <laughs> and even if I win this game, I'll still think there's a good chance of me not making the playoffs. So yeah, I think it's very much the top three. Yeah, my lizard has quite yeah, seven four seven strength four is good, but they are they are armor eight, which isn't good, is it? So they're easily removed. They're not they're not armor nine like lizard men. I would like it a lot more if they were armor nine. <laughs> Paid for twenty three month, got content for twelve months. <laughs> That's true, isn't it? I'm sorry, Mr. Yemenda. I'm so sorry to everybody for the lack of content. I know it sucks. I can't help being ill, but um, I will do my best to work out some way of of doing more and being consistent. But thank you very much uh, for staying fantastic. VIP, Mr. Yemenda. <laughs> um, yeah. There you go. Getting the AV breaks without using any any claw or any mighty blow. <laughs> oh, this one had this one had palm, but didn't use it. Interesting. But two KOs from rookies. Okay, two KOs, two stuns. Make things tricky, don't they? But he can't stop me two dicing lads with claw pom, can he? That's that's the killer for him. 
That is the absolute killer for him. He just can't stop me two dicing lads with claw palm. Curl palm. Unless he completely outbashes me. I mean, the Kemri outbashed the living fuck out of me. And uh, somebody else did. I can't remember. I can't remember what the other the game was. Can't remember. Doesn't have sure hands, does he? He won't re-roll it if he fails it, I don't think. No immediate pressure is there. I'm surprised he didn't get a wizard. I think this being such like such a big game, I would maybe he would have gone a wizard, but then I guess it's not as big for him as it is for me. And he doesn't want his players to die, do it, does he? <laughs> That's quite reasonable, not wanting his players to die. Hey, bonehead. Oh shit, it doesn't mean this guy is pissed by uh, <laughs> by these fuckers though. I guess I could get two guards in and he could punch him. And then I could follow and then pom him. Oh god, I can kill it and get and get his killer. But it, puts, it means putting a guard in there. One, two, three, four, five. It does mean getting a guard punched by mighty blow. But just on a push, it would mean claw pomming his pom. I quite like that. Ah, oh, do I? Is that stupid though? Because this guard is is in a shit spot. The two fucking stuns. If these weren't stunned, I would totally go for it because then standing more guys up is better, isn't it? I don't really want to go all men's without being able to stand those two guys up. I would have hit the defenseless one otherwise. Got him. Right, this one, the one without tackle. Let's go. I can read. I can read this as well. So. It does seem risky, doesn't it? It's too late to go home now. Classic gym. It'd been a lot better if I'd been able to stand those guys up. Oh, glorious squirrel, dude. There was a lot of gym pals there, weren't there? Herp, derp. Base, base, base. This won't fail. I'm on the right. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, juve sack. Oh. Disappointed. I mean, there could be good payoff if uh, 
you know, if he fails anything or if he doesn't kill everybody. <laughs> A lot of skills on the pitch now, isn't there? Fair enough, he doesn't want to rely on the... Whee! Oh, boo. He doesn't want to rely on the Crocs, and it was a good decision not rely on the Crocs, because the Crocs were a double skull. But he did kill somebody. They didn't kill him, but you know, he's removed from the pitch. Our old Pedro Jack did not remove that one from the pitch. Yet. Now he cast him. So there you go, I lost two players. And now, probably the match. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't feel that bad about losing those players, to be fair. Because there's hits back, isn't there? I think. Yeah, there is, there is hits back. I see he got guard. He does. Palm him? No, because I can't put I can't push him either. Good. Not. I won. Of course not. So, you know, this is this is how the game's going, isn't it? He's made a few blocks, Kazna KO. I've made four claw mighty blow hits, essentially. Kind of four and a half. Claw mighty blow knockdowns and done nothing. Super mega punished for basing, yeah, and exactly. <sighs> well done, Pedro. Piling on and not breaking against Saurus is fucking shit. It could have been worse. It could have been worse. Obviously, I could have quad skull, but it's not fucking good, is it? That was good, wasn't it, to get the guard out? I know it's called Bloodborne. I know, like, I know, I know that I'm not, I'm not like expecting to fucking Kaz on every block or anything, but it's just a bit frustrating, is it? It's not the worst thing ever. I'm not saying it's the worst thing ever, but it's not good. 
<laughs> Could be going better. If I was trying to win, I would have appled that. So I probably should have done, because I should be trying to win this game to get in the playoffs, shouldn't I? Probably should have appled that. A power apple. A power apple should have probably been used then. Yeah, kind of. I mean, you want to, you want to at least break AV on every block. Well, not on every block, on every knockdown. Oh, wait, how long have I been uh, muted for? I've just seen that I'm muted there. Um, thanks, Salt <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't like it in Brit Augustus, no. I don't like it. I don't like the power up or thing. I hope it stops being a thing soon. can't. They just stand up to get punched down. Horrible. Horrible, horrible stun there. Otherwise he could have pawned and then these could have stood up safely. Could have tackled him. 2D him. 2D him. Or 2D him. 2D him. Do this one first anyway. <sighs> I think controlling him is the most important thing. Now he can only pawn the rookie. Could have stood them up first, couldn't I? But didn't.
It is too tall brown, yeah. It is good. One of them's cast as well. <laughs> so this is so bad. I've done this and been and been outbashed, so it's just it's just terrible now, isn't it? Despite getting multiple claw mighty blow hits. Two claw like the claw pom hit re rolled on his Saurus. Two claw pom knockdowns for nothing and a claw mighty blow knockdown for nothing. I really kinda need at least to get one Saurus off. I really needed to get one Saurus off, I think, to make up for the loss of two players. It is much like, and it's about the same odds as well, isn't it? Not breaking AV. <laughs> when, once you've got the knockdown, I mean, obviously you're going to roll pushes a fair amount of the time, isn't it? About half the time you roll a push. So, like, you can't whine too much about rolling pushes on any given block. But um, it's annoying when you get the knockdowns and don't break AV. Yeah, he's a mega skink killer, isn't he? The uh, the strength five, strength five on the blitz, beast man. But he's also like a guard breaker in this situation, isn't he? Or maybe a crocs killer. Now I want I want hunt skinks, but um, if I get the opportunity, I'll certainly. He's a certainly a good one to hit them, isn't he? He's a, like he's a really good one at doing it. Like if if I'd removed two Saurus, for example, <laughs> the way he's removed two beastmen, um, then he could definitely be smashing a skin, couldn't he? Stuff. He'd be... Okay, good. He survived. Good. Right, there might be some something good to do now. And that even puts guard in for the crocs as well. Ah, but I can't hit the crocs from that direction anymore. The only guy who's left in is this shitlord. That's okay, he's kind of occupying Saurus, isn't it? It's not terrible. He can hit with guard. So he could send the, suck the assist, then he could block him with his guard. 2D him, maybe get rid of him then. So there could be a hit on the... There could be a hit on the Crocs. And then a bit of a... A bit of a dis... Oh... Shouldn't have said that, should I? <laughs> well, now I'm definitely going to blitz a skink. Uh, the Orcs were the last match, Lil Baz. Uh, it's not on YouTube yet, but... Um, it is. It is finished. That was uh, that was like the last last week's match. All right, this is rough, isn't it? I could blitz him with claw palm, curl palm. That could be all right. He strength six now because of him, so he'd be four. Ugh. I 
can't chain anybody. Could blitz him, but it doesn't really do too much. So just got to stand everybody up like dickheads. So. Herp derp. Base, base, base. This I'm really paying the price for this herb derping, aren't I? Really paying the price. Oh, wait, what? Oh, the Crocs has got stand, garden stand firm. Fuck's sake, I was confused. I was literally just confused. Oh. Oh, well, that sucks, doesn't it? Right, one dice blitz then. Let's go. Well done, Jim. The plan would have worked if uh, if his crocs didn't have guard. Oh, well, that's good, isn't it? He's just going to smash my team to fuck now. Because I haven't broken any armor on turn five. <laughs> oh, God. No, I should have blitzed the skink, absolutely should have blitzed the skink. I could not, I'd already moved the, I'd already moved to cancel the skink's assist. How do you keep a lizard team long enough by, to get all these skills by not getting your armor broken ever, tell me. <laughs> The plan would have worked with completely different roles, to be fair. Oh, okay, no, this one. If he just didn't have guard, I didn't think he had guard. I don't know why I didn't think the Crocs had guard. I really didn't think he had guard. Now, he was only one that I didn't see, because he was strength four. I was just going to blitz him. I was just going to blitz this guy with him, with the guard there. So it was only one that I didn't spot. Oh, I could have blitzed Skink with Warrior. Two, three, four. Yeah, five. Okay, yeah, I could have done, yeah. Yeah, that would have been all right. Yeah, that's fair enough. But he hasn't got Tackle, though, so it wouldn't have been as good. It would have been two dice without Tackle rather than three dice with Tackle. I mean, you know what I mean? This is the blitz that I wanted to do, wasn't it? Fuck's sake. I need to break AV some somewhere. I think he's gone off the ball with Bray Tackle, yeah. This could have been another guard here. And another mighty blow there. No oh, shit. Oh, what a horrible... Hey! Alright, now the Crocs doesn't have guard. Glorious Bonehead. All right. There's my first stun, basically. <laughs> oh, I think I stunned the Crocs, actually. No, I did stun the Crocs. I have had one stun. I have had one stun in, stun in four turns, to be fair. Sora's so Arama 7. Um, backyard Dodo. <laughs> Against me, the Souls are Armour 7, aren't they? So I, you know, I should, with a second chance to break it, so I should have broken the Saurus armour a bit. But no, to be fair, I did stun the Crocs, now that I think about it. So one AV break in four turns. Not good, Falcon Merc, not good. Not like I rolled against you. <laughs> oh dear. I didn't break the Orcs armour at all in the last game and not breaking the Lizard's armour at all this game. Hey, he survived. His greed works out. Yeah. That's the difference, isn't it? I, I, had, I had, first turn, I had four dice on him, did nothing to him. And then he's cast a guy, KO'd a guy. 
and it's all then he one dice pals with a skink. Nice as fuck, isn't it? Can I punch anybody? No, is the question. <laughs> the answer is no to be able to hit any fucker. So dumb. Hit the skin. Maybe that's my best chance. WTF is this? How dare my subscription end halfway through a Jimmy stream? Glorious. Thank you very much, Backyard Dodo. I'm sorry that I've got to think about this, but thank you for staying fantastic. I could chain him there. And then I could 1D. And then and get a pow. And then 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't know. I don't know what else I can do. Get a guard in there. But he's got a guard both sides. Oh, I could hit that one then. He can 2D him. Turn five, Brock AV, get on. You ain't on top of your game today. No, I'm not, Jolly. No, that's true. I feel terrible. So I didn't expect to be playing well today, but there you go. Got to, haven't you, when you're in a scheduled league? I mean, plus this just didn't work out, you know. With better dice, I got I got a two dice. I got a two dice claw on his killer on turn one. If I had fucking removed him, then he doesn't make these removals, and he's got less players on the pitch, so it just snowballs either way, doesn't it? So you know, it's it all comes down to that um, that one blitz, which it was a gamble and it didn't work out this time. It doesn't mean it's wrong to do it, does it? Like you know, if you have if you have pocket aces. Um, you still write the goal in with him, even if it doesn't pan out well, aren't you? So I think it was. I think it was okay. I think it was a good good chance to knock him down, wasn't it? About eighty percent chance to knock him down, was it? Forty five, half of that twenty, about about eighty percent to knock him down. And then once you knock him down, you're you're very good to. Uh, I know I'm, I'm shocked that he didn't jelly ill, to be honest. Um, 
And then once you, if you knock him down, there's a good chance to break AV, isn't there? So. <laughs> yeah, that's true, Tony. That's true. Um. Yeah, that's true, Oriolensis. Yeah, I could have gone the. I could have gone the. You know, don't need to force it. Turn one, do you? It was just the payoff was there in in getting the claw palm hit on his mighty blow tackle. So that I like, could have saved my players, couldn't it? Uh, as it happened, it didn't because I didn't break AV, but it could have done. <laughs> it could have done, and that's that's the main thing. But now it looks a lot better now that it's now that it's even players on the pitch. It doesn't look as anywhere near as bad. It's not. I'm still a man down. I'm still a man down, but now only being one man down, it looks it looks way better than it was last turn. Oh, he rolled a one. Oh, baby. Didn't activate his crocs before he did that. Some might say that sunshine follows thunder. Don't know what to do. There. If he punches him, then he can punch him. And he can punch him. So that's better than hitting the skink, isn't it? first I guess it's incredible how good the game looks <laughs> after after being one man down instead of two Is pretty high TV for lack of murder skills, yeah. Yeah. It is pretty high TV. There's a lack of murder skills for the TV. But for the amount of games all that is, it's it's got it's got a decent amount of killingness for the amount of games it's played and for the amount of SPP it's got. But not for the TV. But of course I couldn't have just I couldn't have just had a uh, claw mighty blow piling on guy instead of him, could I? Well, not block claw, might blow panning on whatever. So. Yeah, that was a double push against a defenseless guy, but it's all right. He's probably going to get the. Yeah, he's probably going to get the stall out, but. Yeah, I mean the, the the swing back came too late, didn't it? Really, turn <laughs> turn six. The not shit turn coming on turn six when I was already down, you know, still just down a man, still down a man, but that was that was enough to have a good turn. So I don't know, I, I don't hate go pushing for it on turn one. Um, 
Chalf block with mighty blow, guard panning on Dauntless, and all singles. Yeah, Pro could be alright, couldn't it? Because then it works for Dauntless as well as Greed blocking. Another player out. So down two players now. <laughs> and you're going to go for the score. He is, he's going to go for the score. So there you go, turn six. Not shit dice. Makes a, makes for an early score, so there's a chance, isn't there? There's a chance. You're telling me there's a chance? KOs have come back. So I've got 10. He's got 11. So still out bashed. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, there could be a riot to deny me any chance of a score, yeah. The good thing is that this guy's on 30 and this guy's on 50, so either one can get a completion and level up, which is nice, isn't it? Yeah, I think he had to score, to be honest. But yeah, he could have he's played it differently so that he had a chance to not score. Yeah, the two movement seven guys are pretty good for fast scores, aren't they? To be fair. Yeah, exactly. He could have screened the skink instead of assisting the blitz. But still, still wasn't easy for him. I don't know. It still wasn't easy, to be honest, Jolliel. I don't think it was easy for him to, to stall it. But yeah, maybe he could have tried to stall it. But still, giving me a 5 plus with a reroll to, to dodge away wasn't, you know. <laughs> maybe you got, you know, going for this. I think it's hard to say the score was wrong, to be honest. I'm very unlikely to be able to score in two, aren't I? Yeah, three rerolls, yeah. That's the thing. I mean, I couldn't, didn't really get to reroll anything, did I? Nothing really went badly. Just didn't go, just lost too many players and didn't go well. Yeah, riot would be annoying. Oh, he's hidden, hidden the pommer. <laughs> who who told you that, little Baz? It's fair enough then to put the skinks on the LOS because otherwise, I'm gonna murder Saurus. Well, maybe I wouldn't. Maybe I wouldn't. No, it's very not easy to score in two turns. Very not easy to score in two turns. End the turn for fuck's sake! Ooh. End the fucking turn! I think man. that was a mistake by him there. Maybe. I could go down this side, couldn't I? I could go through the middle, but I also could go down this side because I just need to push him to clear out a gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI. Screen him. And tag the crocs. 
could be doable. Do I want to hit these guys? I guess I might as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. GFI. I've got a G, so I've got a GFI with a B cement to cover. He can tag the crocs. He could get tagged as well. The tackler could I could score the. I might have to dodge though. Do I want to score with a dodger or the tackler? Where can he go? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Double GFI. The ball could go there. I'm still going to take the block though, just because I get to smash them, don't I? Um, this is the huge one though. This really needs to be a knockdown. Uh, one, two, three, four. That really needs to be a. But it only needs to be a push, I guess. The tackle means that I could blitz my way out of it if I get based by a dodge play, but there's only one, and he, I won't be in range of him. So, I guess. Oh, the one's got block and one's got dodge, but he's got tackle, so having block is more, is more defense, isn't it? Oh, just Joe. Sorry to hear that. Um, right. Anyway, backyard Dodo, thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much for staying fantastic. Sorry that I couldn't thank you properly, but you know this was it was a really tough turn, and then it stayed tough afterwards. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. GFI, six and six. Tag, tag. Maybe tag as well. Who are the two that are screening then? These two. So he, what does he do then? He he bases this guard in there. No. Who assists? Who assists and who tags? Hmm. Or maybe I don't pile on the tag. Oh! <laughs> well, that changes things a little bit, doesn't it? Um, Get that, fucked, you that little changes cunt. things <laughs> Fuck off. a little bit. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, dead. Broke AV. You went for the normal apple. Wow. How the worm has turned so far. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then handoff. But if I do that, I've got to have the threats first. Crocs. Crocs has got break tackle. How far can he get to there? He can get to there. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
get to there. So this is a good place to stand for him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could uh, sideline cage it, couldn't I? Because he can't reach. No one can hit the ball if the ball's on the sideline. One, two, three. There you go, the first GFI is a fail. Fucking A. Right, so at least he's... I could put the ball na there now then. And then that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I've got to think about him actually just getting the guy with the ball now, haven't I? Seems good. Yeah, if only could use two in the same fucking turn, eh? If only I had sure hands. Oh. Oh. Right. That's not bad, is it? Outrageous, but I mean, pitch, pitch, that pitch invasion was completely outrageous. <laughs> completely outrageous pitch invasion. Uh, yeah, I mean, that is that is insanity. For all I may have been whining like a little bitch about my uh, about not breaking AV and getting out bash and everything, that is that was an insane pitch invasion. Yeah, exactly. Right players, yeah, insane, insanely lucky, you know. Completely disgusting, yeah. 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 Insanely, insanely lucky, yeah. No doubt about it. Undercaz, yeah, Undercaz was nice, wasn't it, for the second half? Oh man, greed reel into double skulls would have been would have been where it's at. Oh well, that's not so good. Badly hurt. <laughs> oh. Run out of time. Run out of time. I, I was gonna up it. Yeah, I think I should have done. I think I should have done, but it wasn't the it wasn't the tackle one. And uh, I do need players. <laughs> <laughs> as much as anything because I've only got 12 but it wasn't the tackle one I think had it been the tackle one I would have done it can't get around the other side of, of him no if I, if I could have blitzed him into another block, that would have been good, wouldn't it? Do I just go for... Do I go for the good guy? Who hasn't got... Who's got block. I'm not going to re-roll it, because I could triple skull. Yeah, but if I could have filled in these squares, um, I could have put Jin in another block. See, that's what I was thinking. Uh, he's defenceless, so he's really good chance to remove him. 
or could just go for the hit on the Saurus, which has got a pretty nice effect of casting a Saurus, isn't it? I'm just going to go for him. End the turn, for fuck's sake! End the fucking turn, man! Fuck it. Should have hit the defenseless one, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should have appalled that. I really should have appalled it. Because I can definitely lose now. Good KOs. Good KOs. He's still got 11, but there's a chance. It wasn't a bit of a no-brainer app, oh, it wasn't, no, because it's, it, it's, it's weighing the game against the long term, isn't it? And I don't know. He didn't have guard. If he had guard, if he had claw palm guard, I think I would have appled it. So winning the match, obviously. Winning the match, I would have appled the first one. If I was just caring about winning the match, I would have appled the first one. And if I was caring about the match more, I would have definitely appalled the second one. But it's a league. So there you go. That's the thing. And someone might still die. I might still... The might, Apple might fail when, when uh, you know... Yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not a no-brainer because... I mean, well, it is if you're trying to win the match. Yeah, you know, if you're 100%. If it was the playoffs... I wouldn't have appalled him because I would have already appalled the strength four guard. <laughs> um, so, but it's not the purpose. So it's that's true. That is good when you've got when you've got no good one. Yeah, and, you know, I probably should have appalled it. Yeah, you know, if I'm trying to win the game, if I'm doing one hundred percent, one hundred and ten percent to win the game. But you know, after that fucking pitch invasion. I knew it was going to be 1-1, one, one, didn't I? So, yeah. You know, things could happen now, couldn't they? Things could happen now. I could just make a bunch of removals and not need him. So, so yeah, that is the explanation of not doing it, yeah. But, so it's not, I don't think it's a no-brainer to not do it, to apple it, but... I wish I had more than 15 seconds to decide. <laughs> but there you go. Or just that guy could have died later, you know? So that it's it's not it's really not I could have appalled him, then he could have been fouled by a skink and killed. So yeah, still got two well no, one claw pom and one claw mighty. So there's still there's still stuff active. So one, two, three, four, five, six is all right, isn't it? He can go there for the protect him a little bit and smash all these guys. Yeah. He could get a blitz, yeah. Well, there you go. That's the worst. <laughs> worst possible scenario was getting the blitz and he got it oh boy same different well no because this is a perfect defense and he gets to knock somebody over so no It probably is as bad as that pitch invasion because I might have scored a two turn anyway. Whereas now, 
I'm almost certainly going to lose, aren't I? So, like, that pitch invasion turned a 1-0 into a 1-1. A probable 1-0 into a definite 1-1. This has turned a probable 2-1 victory to a probable 2-1 loss. So, the blitz is pretty bad. The, p the pitch invasion was completely insane. Don't get me wrong. But this is horrible now because now I'm guard lock and I don't even get to make any hits. So this is really bad. Don't underestimate how horrific this blitz is. This blitz is completely horrific. Not as dicey as the pitch invasion. The pitch invasion had crazy dice rolls. But this goes from me knocking down these three guys. And this this is four knockdowns for me into no blocks for me. <laughs> you know? This is, this is four knockdowns. Four likely knockdowns. Uh, probably, you know, two AV breaks into not getting to block, make any blocks. And, uh, yeah. So this is a pretty bad blitz. Yep, that's true, Crystal Hunter, yeah. Oh, of course, the 11th guy is really needed, of course. Yes, but, you know, if the blitz didn't happen, and, I, you know, <laughs> that's the thing, you can't judge anything by what happens, because if the blitz didn't happen, maybe the claw pom guy, Kaz is a guy, maybe the claw mighty blow, Kaz is a guy, maybe the block tackle, Kaz is a skink, and now he's on 8, I'm on 10, and I didn't need that guy, and the decision not to Apple looks great. <laughs> so it's just, and yeah, you know, if he... If he if he stalled it out and then I got two dice on the ball and and he didn't score and Kaz, I could have cast his edge four if he stalled. You know, if he stalled in range of my tackler, I could have cast his AG four and then his decision to not stall would have looked terrible. But um, as it was, his decision, to, his decision to stall, sorry, would have been terrible if I'd cast him with a tackler. But I didn't, so it didn't. <laughs> Oh wow, is it not, is it extra arms but not working at all? Well, it's not done yet, is it? There's still a minute left. I thought he was going to do something. I thought something was going to happen in the first half, but then he, he made a move with the things that were left and it didn't happen, so... Who knows what's going to happen? Skink Crusade. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. If everything goes right, this turn can be a can be a monster win for me. Um, but that's if everything goes right. I think it's not going to be now. I think I'm going to have to blitz a skink. Nope, oh, niggled. Oh, he's got the second apple! <laughs> he's got the second apple. So I could put a guy in there, blitz the crocs. 
and then put the tackle there, this guy here, and then get into a cage. But if it doesn't work, that's really shit. Or I could just blitz him and then protect. All right, let's be fucking sensible. What would Jelly all do? <laughs> Fuck off. Don't want to one day him do a the push does nothing. And if I'd done made the pickup, then this could have been actually pretty good. But I've split my team, which isn't good. The Kaz is good. But I've split my team, so now it's going to be these four versus these four, and these one, two, three, four, five, six versus these six. So it's going to be a bit fucking tricky. Exactly, you think they do. That's why the Blitz was horrible, you know? That's why the Blitz was an absolute fucking killer, because it really was nasty, yeah, it really was. But I got a kit, got the Kaz, which is good, isn't it? So, at least that happened. Yeah, I, I agree, Jalil. Yeah, I think he did give away too many hits on the LOS, yeah. Because, I mean, I could have played this more aggressively, couldn't I? I could have, uh, I could have blitzed this guy with a claw, and I could have blocked that guy. And, you know, maybe knocked him down. And then I could have had the cage up here. Um, you know, it would have been riskier, but it would have been a much bigger payoff to have everyone together. And obviously this guy may be down, but it was risky with him having stand firm. Thanks, Lil Baz. Yeah. And I mean, I could have still just like, you know, I could have gone for the one in nine, lose the match. It still only loses the match one time out of nine, doesn't it? It's not like a... It's not a horrible thing. Yeah, of course. It co I knew you would have played sensibly like I did, you know, and I wanted to play sensibly like I did because it is sensible to play sensibly like I did. <laughs> but, um, yeah, it needs. To, it's safer in the short term, but it's not safer in the long term, is it? That's the problem. That's the problem because it was sensible that turn, but it's not looking so sensible this turn. Because now he's got horrific pressure on us. Horrific pressure. Gonna knock these three players all down. Gonna knock all three of these down. Whereas if, uh, as if I'd done it my way, I could have maybe, you know, if I'd done it the other way, could have knocked these two down. Maybe he's knocked the Crocs down even. Could have knocked the Crocs down. Because I could put the assist in and blitz the Crocs. Um, so could have, the Crocs could have been down. This guy could have been down. And he could have only been making one block here instead of knocking all three down. So. Yeah. So now these are just punching bags up there. Those four are just punching bags where everyone else scrambles around to try and win the game. That is true, one in nine you just lose. Well, I'm glad he did that. Not glad that he got the KO. But I think he should have blocked there and got the Crocs on the ball. I think I would have had the Crocs and the Pommer on the ball. Yep. Yeah. I think maybe I should have gone for the riskier player. I really do think the riskier play was good. <laughs> because this is pretty shit now. Pretty shit. Now I'm in for a penny, in for a pound now, aren't I, Mr. Yemen? 
Maybe I should have uploaded it. But he's just going to get smacked down next turn again, and smack down the turn after, and smack down the turn after. Ah, no, he's got break tackle, so it wasn't wasn't quite a wasn't quite a five plus. Cheeky knockdown. Now he can knock him down. That's alright, isn't it? So recovered in the middle there a little bit. Nothing. <laughs> Fuck off. Um... I really want to three dice with these guys. <sighs> oh, this is fucking rough, isn't it? Done. I really want to get the assist in there, but I just can't. I just can't do it, can I? I'm not going to punch him again. At least a stun, yeah. And those guys aren't getting knocked down this turn, but it's really looking horrible, isn't it? It's really looking fucking horrible. Maybe I should have uploaded that KO. Maybe I should have uploaded that KO. I can just break tackle the Crocs if he wants, couldn't I? Yeah, maybe I really should have appled that KO. I don't know. Oh, that he's on he's on ten and I'm on nine, right? Yeah. Nine versus ten. Missing two warriors down two warriors and a plus strength god. <laughs> so But he's down a garda and another garda. So So that's good. So he's down two Saurus. <sighs> he's scared, I can sense it. <laughs> Scared rolling a one on his bonehead, that'd be nice, wouldn't it? I'd like a but I'd like a boneheaded crocs in this situation, isn't it? Where there's uh where it's all getting to the nitty gritty. Um getting a boneheaded crocs would be huge at this point. Maybe. Maybe Freedom, we'll see what he does. Would you act it? That's the question, isn't it, Jelly? That's the question.
I was, yes. I just went to go to, uh, just went to go to put the heating on because I'm fucking freezing. The crux has got brake tackle, yeah, yeah. Block guard, not block guard. Guard stand firm, brake tackle. That's why I didn't want to blitz him before because he had the stand firm. Even though obviously I was seventy five percent to knock him down. Plus, then if I'd failed the pickup, I'd have lost the game. So it was it was tough. The, the other turn. No, he's not all in on the skinks anymore. He is not all in on the skink plan. Outrageous. Oh, don't break AV, you son of a bitch. Good. Right. So now at the moment this is a one, isn't it? Yeah, so I can put an assist in there and 2D him. Or 2D with a mighty blow. I've got to hit the crocs, because the crocs is a fucking giant pain in my asshole, isn't it? Right, what if I quad skull this? <laughs> Uh, I'm going to re-roll the hit anyway, aren't I? So... I like the idea of getting down and getting the guard in there. I don't know why, though. Could have clawed his killer, but this is more chance to knock down, isn't it? And he's strength 5. And he's break tackle. Get the knockdown. Wouldn't have knocked down the killer. Big stun. Big stun. But I can hit the guard with mighty blow. I can hit the guard stun firm with mighty blow, can't I? So I didn't hate that. Not a bad turn. Yeah, that was a that was a tough question whether to follow up there or not. I wasn't sure. Yeah, when you've got four minute turns, it's uh, it's annoying, isn't it? A draw is not good. I pretty much if I win every game, I qualify for the playoffs. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it is at the moment. If I don't win every game, I probably don't. Um, just because I reckon, you know, Rick will win, will probably win out. And I reckon Sky Tunnel will probably win out. So anything less than a win is good now. Um, but of course, they might drop points. So all I know at the moment is if I win the last four and games, I will qualify. End the fucking turn, man! <laughs> And if I draw, I might not, because even if I win the last three, they might win all all four of theirs. Well, I mean, obviously, if I lose this, then Rick will definitely have won his. But um, no, if, if it's a draw, he wins his last three, he's in. And if Sky Town wins his last three, he's in. So really, it kind of has to be a win for me um, to have to have my fate in my own hands. But... Yeah, 
Yeah, but if he blitzes him, then uh, he's got a block on him, hasn't he? So it's he's not going to want to blitz him. It's interesting. I, I was worried about some kind of chain here. That's why I didn't, go, didn't move up two squares. I wanted to move up two squares, mighty Zug. But, uh... Oh, fair, fair. I, I would be happy with a draw in terms of, you know, his teams are, you know, I didn't get any AV breaks at the start. I've, I've, gre I've greedily hung on to my apple. Instead, of, all three of these I could have appled. So I've greedily hung on to my apple. Um, three great chances to use it to win the game, and I haven't used any of them. Um, so I've, I've been very greedy here, no doubt. So, um, yeah, it's better than all. I, a draw is absolutely fine. I could have no complaints about a draw, of course not. But in terms of purely from the qualification, you know, I kind of need to win all the games because I reckon Rick will win his last three and I reckon Skytown will win his last four. That's why I thought saying that this was a four or five man race was a bit silly because I think these guys are going to fucking win all their games. And I think I'm probably going to miss out on the playoffs, to be fair. I think I probably am. Gonna miss out, but I could get a draw here. But and I mean, I'd, I'd I'd kind of be happy with the draw now after the blitz, but obviously after that pitch invasion, <laughs> that made me that made me hope for the win. It's in this tackler again. Doesn't even knock him down. Or free him free up the skink. Now he does. It could still be a win, yeah, of course it could be. This is a one, isn't it? Fuck. <laughs> oh, I play on Xbox. Oh no. <laughs> That's a one. Huh? Should have should have got the assist there. Fuck. Oh, I got away with it. No squares forward. Get up there. That was a really needed power, yeah. I'm surprised it didn't stand firm, to be honest. God, I need to fucking remove somebody. Yeah, I'm surprised it didn't stand firm. Still men down, aren't I? I've got nine and he's got ten.
Yeah, and he did that cut, go close to the cage. Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, Chris Hunter. Because that's the thing. If I didn't do that, then he can, he can pow, pow and get in, can't he? Or pow break tackling or whatever. So I think he was needed there for the cage. Even though I would have loved to have kept the Crocs occupied, of course. Possibly, yeah. Yeah, possibly. Especially if I hadn't got this knockdown. See, do you know what I mean? If I didn't get this knockdown or this guard, if this guard's here, here and then he's guarding there and then guarding there and stuff, it's pretty horrible. Glorious. I've got to push forward soon, haven't I? If I'm going to fucking win. Yeah, better safe than sorry. <laughs> oh, not a knockdown. <laughs> yeah, it does. It did suck not tying the crocs up. Obviously. Yeah, that would have been a glorious bonehead, wouldn't it? Holy shit. That would have been the bonehead to end all boneheads. <laughs> but he didn't. <laughs> I really need to get a removal here, like someone. I need someone to remove something so I can push forward like a madman. But without removals, it's just too hard, isn't it? Men down versus agility four, strength four guys it is tricky. Oh, glorious. Oh, except you'll have to re-roll it. It would have been better if you had block for me, I think. Because, oh no, it works out the same. Because if, if his Saurus had had block, it would, have, it would have kind of worked out better for me, I thought, then. I didn't need the assist over there, did I? Because it was going to fucking follow. Oh, I derped. I derped there. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Need a removal. Yeah, I really needed a power and then I could have moved a bit forward, couldn't I? It is, isn't it? Yes, Jelly oh, yes. That and you know it all comes down to that turn maybe, you know, that turn where I didn't reroll the you know, I didn't go all in on the eight or nine pickup and didn't Apo, you know. 
Casualties. I've taken two and a KO, and I did two. <laughs> I play on Xbox. Oh, so. no. But I didn't use my apple when he used his apple. I don't know why he's there. Was he, did he just not play him? Why is he off there? Oh, because it was an apple to badly hurt, wasn't it? Yeah, of course. So yeah, so I've made two cars. And he's made two cars and a KO. And well, I mean, yeah, this half he's made the KO. I made KO's last half. But I've been outbashed. <laughs> Despite Clopom. But then don't have the claw palm left now. So. Yeah. I mean, I still want to win, but yeah, if I'd been, if I'd been thrown caution to the wind for the victory. Hello, Malfagor. Yeah, the Xbox is amazing. Yeah. I mean, I really could have done with breaking AV ever, couldn't I? Would have been good. And yeah, his, high, his dice haven't been hot, but... I really needed... They haven't had to be, have they? Because he got a blitz <laughs> and he's men up. So I need to have some fucking shit happen. Oh God, now he's based the ball. Maybe a mistake with pressure, because maybe I could maybe I could escape now. For fucking roll good. <laughs> so probably not then. Three plus dodge works. Dirty Dino. One in three the dodge, Tasrin. Like I had got uh, I'd had fucking block there. Right. So now blitz him. Is the only way I've got of getting forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, I've got to stand him up first. Oh, shit. Huge pile. Huge pal. Right. One, two, three, four, five. He can go five to there. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I just have to get him forward.
Guess he just has to be stood up, doesn't he? And he has to occupy players. That was a pretty good turn. Pretty good turn. Pretty good turn. Ah, oh, bonehead. That was a pretty big bonehead, wasn't it? That stops his guard. That would have engineered two dice blocks. So... Whew. You're telling me there's a chance? <laughs> maybe, yeah, uh, maybe. A gaping hole in his defense. Yeah, well, and also the turn before, I think he kind of overcommitted on that side a little bit, which made which made this one pop more possible this turn, didn't it? Hoping Jimmy rolls a turn off, but thanks. <laughs> thanks, man. Yeah, oh yeah, I can definitely potato. I mean, I will be potatoing. <laughs> I will be potatoing. <laughs> the question is whether it's successful or not. No, oh, hello, Yakster. Thanks for the raid. Takes a while, doesn't it? I would have pro preferred two minute turns to tell you the truth. I would have preferred two minute turns. Not gonna lie. Oh, he won in nine! Oh, Jim Glorious Pow! Right. We can block, block him and splat him and that frees up the tackler. Fucking... Cunting, cunt of a fucking shithead, fucking cunt, cunt, fucking cunt, <laughs> cunt, cunt, fucking beast. Yeah, I think you should have bucked the skink free as well, absolutely. Absolutely agree, Crystal Hunter. Oh, if, if he break on the break tackle, <laughs> get out of town, get out of town, glorious. Outrageous! And from the third square, he can't even base with him. From the diving tackle. Yep. Get fucked, you little cunt! <laughs> Fuck off! You can block him to there, and then he can 2D him. 
I still think I want this guy like here. Alright, time to roll a 2+. plus. <laughs> oh no, it's not! He's movement 7! <laughs> Glorious! Oh shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> One, two, three, four. I don't think he's a threat, is he? I don't wanna not I don't wanna leave him not based. He can't do a lot. He could dodge to stop this guy. Basing him. Oh great non block on that skink there. Get fucked, you little cunt! <laughs> it stops him facing him. <sighs> Fucking hell! What a, what a couple of turns! Mad turnaround, isn't it? Couple more removals and uh, dodge fail and stuff. Maybe I could have done that. No, I really didn't want him to, to to base the tackler because if he bases the tackler, and then he can dodge the, uh, he can do dodgy things, can't he? I am letting him pom that guy if he wants to not care about the ball, but I think he's got to care about the ball a little bit, hasn't he? Yeah, so that was it, basically. I thought, yeah, I might need the tackler free to remove the skink. And blocking that, you said, exactly, jelly deals. Exactly. That was the that was the rationale there. Oh, that's a good move, though, isn't it? Getting both of those, diamond tackling both of those. I guess he can one dice the ball, yeah. Yeah, the tackler's not doing a lot, is he? But it was hard to protect from just him rolling some dice, wasn't it? That was the problem. I have to potato a bit. Like, I could have blocked him, and I might have powered him, or both downed, and then he wouldn't have had the assist. So maybe I should have still made the block there. Yeah, 1D on the ball. But this guy's in range, isn't he? Yep. Wait, what? Oh, because he wants to push me back. Wow, it's greedy that, isn't it? Has he done the blitz with him? Is he not blitzed? Has he done the classic non non blitz there? Glorious. Right. So what I can do is I can blitz him and push my guy back and then go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI. Because if I blitz him. Any side steps to there, I can't score, can I? So I have to chain. Have to chain. If I 3D him and power him, then I can get guard in there. the 
pal. So now there's a cheeky guard in. I can just no, I can't. I can't chain his sidestep off. I've got to chain my guy back, haven't I? Push is good because I can push him with another one. A GFI to win. Glorious. Not really win. Not really win because he might score the one turn. So it wasn't a GFI to win. <laughs> Thank you. That was quite. That was quite nice. Chains there, wasn't it? That was a rough drive. Wow. Uh, I don't think there was a way. No man. Yeah, he did fuck up badly to not blitz. Yeah, it's at least a draw. Yeah, GFI to at least draw. Yeah, that's true. He does have the. He does have a pretty fucking decent one turner, doesn't he? I don't even have eleven players to stop him. Maybe this is just fucking backline it. Blitzes him. Then he blocks him and gets him to there. Then he blocks him. Gets him to there. I don't have 11 players though. Yeah, the Warriors have to go on the LOS so it's not 3D. Tackle. If he gets him three forward, he could go there anyway and just be one tackle out. So maybe the tackle needs to go there, but then he could be there and go, oh, I don't know what to do. Maybe here. So he can blitz in there, and then when he pushes him out to there, there's going to be, oh, I don't know what to do. Ugh. Yeah, this tackle, though, for all. I can't really pre prevent the pushing. He's got, you know, he's got everything, hasn't he? There's a lot of dice to roll. That's the only thing, isn't there? There's a lot of dice to roll. Can make one dodge through tackle. I'll just put him there. End the turn for fuck's sake! End the fucking turn, man! So if he pushes him out to here, he'll have to do like one, two, three dodges at least. If he's there, he'll have to do one, two, three anyway, though, so him being here doesn't help. Oh, yes, he does, because then he'd go. If, he's, if he pushes him to here, then he goes one, two. Yeah, that makes him make another dodge. Oh yeah, the tackle. I don't have enough tackle. I don't have four tackle though. <laughs> you can also push him out that way and then get there, but then there's tackle there.
What's this? People trying to stop coaching. I'm not looking for it. I'm not soliciting advice, so it's all right. I don't know what to do. I wish I had 11 players. It'd be a lot fucking easier if I had 11 players. Yeah, no, I don't. I don't reach out while I think. I mean, I was trying to do it, wasn't I? I was. It was a hard thing thinking about. I didn't. <sighs> Rebel police. What happened to Albert the last is uh... <laughs> he scored on turn seven. Rick scored on turn seven rather than turn eight, and uh, was rewarded for his turn seven score. With the most outrageous, one of the most outrageous pitch invasions I've ever seen in my life, which completely annihilated his defense. Which, which to be fair, wasn't the best anyway. Um, but the pitch invasion killed, completely killed it for him, and then that made it one-one. And then he got a blitz, which made everything terrifying. I didn't apo anything. Um, I got two cas, two badly hurts. Didn't apo either of them, either of them, because I was. I was pixel hugging, and uh, yeah, that was that was what it was, wasn't it? And then, uh, but then somehow, my, eventually, the dice the dice weren't. I mean, they weren't amazing for him, but they they just seemed horrible for me. I only made one, well, two cars in the entire game. Um, so I and then, but then eventually, I started rolling good. And uh, made a break. I think maybe he did shit the bed a little bit. Definitely on the last turn he shit the bed, not making the not not, not making the blitz. Um, huge huge mistake there, wasn't it? Not clicking on blitz before he started moving in. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it was a three-turn collapse. Yeah, yeah. Maybe he did start. I don't know. The whole the whole. Half he was to and froing between all manzing and creating a lot of pressure and then sitting back, wasn't he? He was to and fro between the two. I think if he committed hard to one or the other, it would have been kind of hard to stop. And I think he did base up when he shouldn't have done on one of the turns and stuff. And then there was the opportunity to get through, got through. And then I, you know, rolled some good dice. The stun on the break tackle was massive and stuff like that. But um, yeah, it was good. So 2 1, and then. Hopefully he won't score this one turn. He was punished those. He was punished. But I mean it wasn't like it wasn't as it wasn't huge dice though, was there? Nine through twelve. Yeah, two nine and twelve when it was when he was two and throwing, wasn't he? Uh that was when he was that was when he was toing and throwing. Fun without pause. Blood ball doesn't interest you. Yeah, and I think he, I think he overcommitted to that that left hand side, which left him kind of open to the to the. I think the reason he was open to the switch was because he did, he did overcommit the turn, the turn before, the turn that I switched. But anyway, we'll see what happens. Might be a draw, a blitz. <laughs> uh, right. Well. I can blitz the guy who can score. And I could base the ball. Damn. Damn, I'm tired. <laughs> well, it's not GG yet. But GG. I gotta just go in with this guy, haven't I? This would only be a one. -er. No, this would still be a two. -er. So, is there any reason to expose 
my claw? No, I don't think so. Because if I just knock him down, he's knocked down and he isn't scoring. So let's not expose the claw mighty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI foul. I don't think he can score it now, can he? Don't get punched. What a match. Looking for a death there. <laughs> I was really looking for a death there. Wow. Phew. Yeah, DP would have broken me, maybe. Yeah. yeah, send off. A send off. I'd have been happy with a send off there. Double two. Double two send off would have been fine. Stops him getting blitzed, doesn't it? <laughs> it was a great game, wasn't it? It was, yeah, I, I agree. Fucking hell. That, that pitch invasion was insane, wasn't it? Did it? <laughs> oh, I don't think so. <laughs> I, was, I was trying, I mean, I was trying to kill him, obviously, you know, because at the end of the day, he, he could definitely make the playoffs, couldn't he, Rick? He's definitely a threat to win the division still. Um, so I absolutely wanted to kill one of his best players. No shame in that, is there? <laughs> Thanks, Falcon Merc. <laughs> uh, it's not a finish, it's not a first place finish for all, it's only first at the moment. Can't. It's definitely not a finish, it's still, uh, there's still a long way to go. I mean, I can lose any of the games that are left. You know, there's Skaven with a wizard, there's Nurgle, uh, there's three weeks left. Three weeks left, this is week 10, so there's three, three games left. Could still not make the playoffs. Really could still not make the playoffs, that's how crazy this division is. And my greed, greedy non-apple has paid off, but also I wouldn't have been punished for a power apple. Everyone survived completely. This this game may this this guy may die, but I've got an apple for him. Personal apple for rookie fucking beast man, the churner. Did he? Oh, that's amazing! Wolfie's in cover. That's amazing. <laughs> Glorious. Let's up all that. <laughs> he gets an up. Don't mess with the churner. <laughs> don't mess. Don't mess with the churner. He won't hurt him, and you'll get sent off. <laughs> Glorious. Oof. I might as well re-roll. Nothing. 80k, nobody died, Got more. It took more AV breaks, and that's with me having, oh, we both had pile on, ah, I really hate piling on, factoring into it, but we both had pile on, I had two pile on, rock hard for goal levels up with the MVP, glorious, glorious, 50 out blocked us by one, out bashed, out bashed, but still, 
Still got the victory thanks to that insanity uh, pitch invasion. <laughs> Made most of the GFIs, outrageous. And a dodge. And two out of three pickups and a catch. Brilliant D6s there, actually, for me. But I mean, I did have rerolls available most of the time, didn't I? Uh, 26 54! That was a. Uh, that was a pushy game, wasn't it? 35. So that was definitely a pushy game for Team Fantastic. Not many skulls, I guess, but 26, 54, um, 35. But yeah, not many skulls. And then 37, 37, 38. Almost perfect distribution for Lizard Blizzard. Or actually is perfect because it was not number one, isn't it? So 37, 37, 38. Uh, 64 dodges is fine, isn't it? They were mostly three. I guess some were two pluses. And uh, pick up the one pickup worked. The three GFIs worked. Bonehead was a little. I mean, you know, it's as close as you can get to average, pretty much, isn't it? There you go. Interesting. Them them block dice though, were funny. They're, that's pure gym power dice, isn't it? <laughs> All right. And let's have a look at the three level ups. Three level ups is good times. Oh, it's so waiting confirmation. Boo. But the three level ups are um, Rock Hard for Gore went to 33, probably get Guard. Murder Death Kill leveled up for maybe Frenzy. And Most Fun leveled up for Block or Sure Hands. It might go Sure Hands with a uh, Skaven in the league. And that's going to be 712 and 712. I don't know why it hasn't. Uh, don't know why it hasn't normally done, but that is we are going to be joint top there on 712. So uh, there you go. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.